How's it going? Uh, we're doing the brakes on this. We already did the front, but those are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, make sure that you grease your, your guides, that, that the caliper uh, pulls the outside pad and the inside pad together in unison. It really helps the wear. And make sure if you're getting the right pads that you match your rotors. Uh, this is the 2012 Dodge Ram 1500. This is the one we did the transmission on. Uh, it's going, driving well, very good. Um, uh, the rear brakes, um, these are your, your uh, emergency brakes. Uh, just to give you a little tip, um, this lower spring, there's two return springs, like when you push your pedal, um, these expand, right? So there's springs that pull it back. Well, there's two of them on this one, okay? You're under the, let's see if I can get under here and show you them. There's the inside one. If you look closely, or the outside one, can't quite see. There's an inside one. I don't know if you can see it from here. Not really, but there's two springs down there. Uh, the trick to it is, uh, when you're putting them back on, you can uh, install this side first, and the spring on this side. I usually put in the keeper and the spring at the same time so that this pad stays in place. Then you hook that spring on. This shoe, when you're putting it on, don't line it up with your levers yet. Put it in put it in between here and here, and it'll get closer, and that spring is a lot easier to put on because it's behind. It's really hard, really tricky to get at that spring. So, and then you can just pry the shoe back and put your levers on. And then the rest is really quite easy to uh, uh, put together. Um, and then your, I'm just looking for the, your adjustment wheel right here. You want to have just a little bit of drag on your, on your rotor when you put it on. Um, I guess everybody has different schools of thought on that, but let's see if I can do it with one hand. <laughs> oh. There we go. Um. See, that's not too bad. A little bit. I, 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 it's you know it's a fifteen hundred. If it was a thirty five or twenty five, I might put a little more, but that should be enough on this one for the emergency brake. You can always adjust it if you didn't have if you need to later. And then the caliper goes on there. Um, yeah. So I hope that hope that helped a little bit. That spring can be a bugger if you you can fight with it for a while if you don't do it the uh, the that uh, that way. If you don't have the uh, the fancy shop tools to be able to do it. That return spring in the back is pretty tricky to get at. But boy, those look nice. Very nice. So, hope that helps.